Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. We are all in for a treat because along with you, I will be opening the items that I earned for the Celebration 2022 event. The reason I'm able to earn them earlier than my customers is I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the US market. And so from July 1st to August 31st, you can earn all of these items for free as well. I was able to do what's called pre-earn. Oh, forgot to put my name on that one. Here's my, here's my information. I was able to go on and do a demonstrator order. I made a very, very large demonstrator order, as you're going to be able to see. And for each $50 I spent, I was able to get a free celebration item. And so this is a $50 item. Uh, mostly these are. And then this one, everything was $50 item, except for this one. To get Wonderful World, I had to spend 100 but to get that one, I, I was able to get Wonderful World stamp set and this Wonderful World designer series paper, which I couldn't find for the longest time. I couldn't figure out where the heck it went. All right, so I am excited. I, I think I may even do something really special at the end of this video that's in the back of this brochure. I'm not allowed to open the brochure just yet because we, ha but I mean, a lot of you got this in the mail already. I was able to like order them for you, like, as an actual order and I was able to order them for my customers. They got sent to you from Salt Lake City or around there, uh, Utah. I don't know if anyone's actually got them yet. But in that case, you can open them all you want and that's great. I'm just not allowed to open them live as per our rules until they go live. That's why I have this tape shut and I should have taped this one shut. I had it taped shut, but then I started looking at it. Now, you can order a catalog from me. I, I'm not doing the big annual ones right now. I'm doing just these mini ones. That's the ones I'm shipping out in the U.S. only. So you go here, paperchef.stampinup.net. Papered. Remember, I'm not pampered. I'm not a cook. I'm not a chef. I strive to be. I make a few recipes here and there. But it's paper. Anyway, you go there, and then there's going to be the current host code. If you want to shop this month, you get buy one, get one free on the kits collections. The entire annual catalog is live. So you can shop on this catalog. You can shop on our catalog the mini catalog that's about to retire, and the kits collections are buy one, get one, 50% off. Anyway, that's when you can go in the contact form. It'll, up in the left, it'll say Kimberly Smith. It'll say contact me, and there's a little link up in the top left of the page. So this is your website, top left, my picture, and then you click on it, and then you say, I want to request a catalog. And then please put your address in the comments. But if you don't, and then I'll, I'll write you back and ask you for your address. All right, without further ado, I'm so excited. Ah, oh, the hippos. And I, I wasn't able to open it yet because I was waiting to share it with you. And I couldn't share it because my I had so many lighting problems and tripod problems. Husband got me another tripod and an arm, and it seems to be working pretty good. Except I have, like, the light. See, I have a light coming in from this direction and this direction. So it's a little shiny. And the sun is shining. So I have three light sources coming from different directions. So that's the only thing that's weird. But my tripod, as far as the tripod goes, it's not all wonky and making my camera... Lean over. So happiest hippos are going to be every single celebration we do something really fun. And this time we're doing happy hippos. You may have seen darling donkeys. Um, one year we did we did some meerkats. Another year, <sighs> trying to get that little thing up there. I need to I need to just stamp the hippo in the tutu. Super cute. I have a couple blends here to see if we can't color it. All right. So the way you mount a stamp. Happiest Hippos is going to be free when you spend $50. I'm going to repeat that many times. You're going to be like, why does she keep repeating that? Because if I don't repeat it, people keep asking me over and over in my videos, how can I buy this? When can I buy it? First of all, it's not available until July 1st. You can't buy it. Okay? Never. They, they never sell. I mean, never say never. Maybe several years from now. But right now, they never, they were not selling. What I'm doing is I'm taking the sticker off and I'm mounting my stamp onto it. It's a cling stamp set. Anyway, they don't sell these. You can only earn them. So you can't buy it. You can't buy this. You have to earn it. So when you spend $50 on anything at my store, then you earn this. Not part of, not, not the starter kit, though. If you want to get start earning items, you have to get the starter kit. And then your first order, you can start earning free items. But these free items don't come in the starter kit because the starter kit's already such a great deal. So what I did is I put the sticker down and lifted it up. Oh, my gosh. She's so cute. She's so cute. Now I'm going to mount the stamp like that. Hippo. I have a little sponge here. Let's go ahead and put this 
Move the paper aside. I just put a piece of basic white and let's see, I have loads of sticky knits, but they're all used for my, I was using them for my uh, tea boutique. So I had a little hearts on them already. All right, we'll just pull this off and put it back on a different one. So what you want to do is when you're stamping, you always want to stamp it onto a sticky note first to make sure you get a good stamped image, right? Before you, before you stamp it onto your paper. I think the foot wasn't, oh, there we go. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Then you can stamp it onto the paper. Okay, hold it for a few seconds. And then you stamp it onto your basic white cardstock. I have a little sponge under there. I thought what would be fun was to try this combination. I'm going to use soft sea foam and fresh freesia. So we're going to make the hippo. Oops, that, that nib is kind of fun. We're going to do the hippo and soft sea foam and the little tutu and fresh freesia because then I'm going to try using Splendid Day. I have this Splendid Day paper. It's the specialty paper. It's all shiny. And I'm using it right now. And I think it would really look cute with this, since it's all shiny, really girly, with this hippo. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to color the tummy in like that. I'll just, I'll kind of alternate light and dark parts just to try to see how that will look. And now eventually I do, I think I'll be using gray granite and smoky slate. But the bottom line is you want to color your hippos. You want to color them whatever will match your paper, will coordinate with your papers. And by coloring these with stamping blends, which are alcohol markers, they're going to come alive. Okay, let's see what the front of this brochure looks like. Oh. I'm just gotta, I gotta peek inside and see if they colored the little feet things. I can't show you, but maybe they colored, meaning they, meaning, huh, not really. Just the choo choo. I mean, they did color the feet a little bit, but not, not anything, like just the shoes, like a little bit, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it all. Later, I might do the shoes in a different color. My first attempt coloring it. All right, the moment of fun is going to be the tutu. So let's do the dark on the outside. I like when I'm blending sections like I did for this big section. Whenever I have a big section, I try to blend with the dark on the outside and the lighter on the inside. Now, the only reason I know these two colors, I mean, this is, you're going to be like, these are weird colors. But I know they go well together because they go with my Splendid Day. So tomorrow, one of the benefits of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is we're allowed to attend events. We're having an event tomorrow called Creativity Now. And in that event, we're going to be creating cards with the Splendid Day paper. I don't think, I, oh, I think I'll do the little nails. And Fresh Freesia. I'm going to do the little tip of the little tip of the toes. Maybe maybe like these lines. I'm not really sure how how ballet, how ballet shoes are supposed to go, but I guess the straps would be colored, but not the skin under. Oops, I'm just ending up. When in doubt, color the whole foot because you know what? I ended up slipping a little bit. All right, now we're going to stick. I'm just, this is just what I was talking about. These are the color combinations. I don't have, I don't think I have any blank ones. This is Splendid Day. It's, it's part of the upcoming mini catalog. So you're gonna be able to get Splendid Day products. And so these were just a couple colors that went with that, the soft sea foam and the fresh freesia. So, I mean, I just think like, it's gonna be so cute to put the little hippo on these really cute little dancey, you know, girly backgrounds, right? A bunch of little hippos. So that's why I'm gonna be coloring those colors and putting them putting them inside these backgrounds with that pretty paper. I did it, by the way, if you want to know how I made these, I created these live on my YouTube channel recently. 
So search for Splendid Day. Okay, the ballerina hippo would be so cute to put on a toothpick and used as a cupcake topper for a birthday party. I'm not making this up. I'm reading it from Yvonne, Yvonne Walker, who gave a great tip about that. So you could put this on as a, a cupcake topper. Um, we actually do have a birthday coming up. That's super cute. I'm thinking these would be cute party favors. So there are, let's, let's continue, continue doing this because there are hippo dyes. All right, so you could, to make the cupcake toppers, you could use the hippo dies. So that hippos are, to, are 50, you earn those when you spend $50. And then you earn the dies when you spend $50. Oh my goodness. Look at the little snorkel. All right, so this is gonna be like this. You're gonna be able to put, you're gonna be able to cut this out. Super cute. Let's, let's just go ahead and do it. I have the mini right here. If you want to know what the mini is, the mini is a little cut and emboss machine. So this will only take a second. We'll try to cut it out real quick and just see how cute that is. Sandwiches, plate two, and then two pl or plate one, and then two plate twos. We're gonna take. I have to rip this to fit it inside the um, the mini machine. I don't have scissors here with me because. I wasn't really expecting to die cut it, but I, it's so cute that we want to see what it looks like. Now, I would normally never, I would never normally color and then cut. I would always cut and then color. Same with my scan and cut, right? If I'm if I'm cutting out stamped images, I would I would I would color after I cut these out because what if you slip and you don't and it doesn't cut out right? But let's have faith. I'm gonna have faith right now. It's not gonna slip. I'm gonna use a little piece of washi tape because. You know, if you just spend all this time coloring and then it slipped, you're like, oh, got to start again. I'm just putting another little plate on top. So that's the die. Oh, my goodness. So let me find those cards again. See how it's going to look cute on these little card backgrounds. These little color combinations. Here, where's the, where's the fresh freesia? I know I had some with fresh freesia. Here. See that, like, color combination back there? With, like, that, that really cute paper. I'm just thinking of the paper itself. not the, And I just happen to have that paper out. That's why I grabbed those colors for the blends. But we'll, we'll do some in, in traditional hippo colors as well. All right. I think we've had enough of the hippo. Well, we can never have enough of the hippos, but the dyes are adorable. we got little buckets and umbrellas and snorkels and... And little, little thingies that accent. So first try to earn the hippos. Do some stamping, do some coloring, and then later you can go back and earn the hippos' dyes. These tend to not run out, like this, these kinds of things. Well, I shouldn't say never, but I mean, the dyes will run out before the stamps. The stamps, I think we keep manufacturing up until the end. But I would think that they have this one. This is going to be like the highlight. Let's do something different now. Let's do these little cards and see how the hippo looks on these little cards. Because this is soft sea foam as well, same color. We can put one of these on the card. Anyway, we we usually don't run out of those like main ones, like Darling Donkey and those, you know, those really fun stamp sets we've had over the years. But sometimes we have run out of dies. Speaking of dies, I'm gonna need this to try to poke here because I didn't bring my scissors. It's gonna take this little thing and poke it. Nope, oh, that's not really going to poke. That's not really sharp. All right, I'm using my teeth. I have to because I can't. I can't go get scissors. <laughs> All right, so so far, you've seen two celebration items. At the end of this, I'll be asking you, hey, what was your favorite celebration item? This is the third thing you can earn for free. So one, you can earn the hippo dies. I mean, I'm sorry, the hippo stamp set. See, hippo stamp set free. Two, you can earn the hippo dies. That's the dies for free. Third, you can earn this, this item. This is the third item I'm showing you. This is free. This is, okay, let's find the name of it. Um, it's called Pool Party and Soft Sea Foam Cards and Envelopes. Pool Party and Soft Sea Foam Cards and Envelopes. Find our hippo. 
Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna go color hippos right after this. That's it, I have a cute card. And then I can use some of my Splendid Day paper on here, and then I'll have a cute little background. A little Splendid Day, fresh freesia paper with the little hippo and the tutu. I think I need pool party and the eyes. I have my pool party blends over there. So I'm gonna make the pool party, the eyes, pool party. Then I'm gonna add Wink Estella to the whole little hippo. Super cute. Let's see what it looks like on a pool party. <gasps> Look how cute this card is. Yep. Done. So this is it. I'm going to go make some hippos. See how the envelopes look. Oh my gosh, I love these envelopes. These are, these are heavy duty. Hey, I think I can use the DSP in the background of this. I'm very happy with this. So I think, I think I'm going to be doing some customer thank yous with these. Um, you know, just a little, little thank you. Put a little, where's the other envelopes? There should be, or I guess the envelopes are all the same. Okay, the envelopes are all the same. Wow, there's a lot in here. Let's see how many are in here. 40? No, it must be 20 cards, 20 envelopes. But the envelopes are the same, so you get 20 of those. And then you get 20, 10 of each card. Boy, this is a home run. And these, these are really nice cards. I mean, they're like, they're not, they're not like, well, they're not like super thick like cardstock. They're not like that. They're not like when you get a cardstock, stamping up cardstock. But they are like the kind you'd get in a paper pumpkin kit. So if you're familiar with the kind of cards you get in a paper pumpkin kit, which are a little bit lighter and thinner, then that's, that's what you're going to get. Oh my goodness. I'm overloaded with cuteness, guys. Let's open some paper next. We're going to change it up and open some paper. Okay, so that was number three. You get three. So, the, so far you can see three things you can get for free. And I'm going to read the coordinating colors and I'm going to say hello. Okay, we have um, Yvonne was here before everybody. Thank you, Yvonne. And Gloria is here. Yeah, you know I had to get the hippos. They were my favorite thing, Yvonne. I always get the cute whimsical thing first. And then, I mean, I would have used my scanning cup, but then I saw they had dyes with it, so I couldn't resist the dyes. Dyes are easier if you're just doing, like, a couple. And then, of course, the scanning cut's easier if you're doing a whole page of them. Okay, st hello, Stampin' Friends. So Deborah is, Deborah L's coming from New South Wales, Australia. And Yvonne, I like your idea about the, about the um, cake, cupcake toppers. And Anne, hello again, you were on my other video as well. Hello, Kathy. I know, she is adorable, right, Kathy, the hippo? All right, Rings of Love, this is called, now we're changing pace here, and, and, um, I'll come, I'll, I'll come say hi to the rest of you in just a few minutes. I see Jody's here from Texas as well. In the Rings of Love, this is, a, no, we're changing it up because this is like a fall paper. You're going to have Crush Curry, Evening Evergreen, right? Let me put this up closer so you can see it while I talk. Crush Curry, Evening Evergreen, Mint Macaron, Night of Navy, Parakeet Party, Petal Pink, Poppy Parade, and Soft Suede. And apparently this goes with the Rings of Love or it goes with Rings of Nature or something like that. It goes with something in the annual, in the uh, holiday catalog that has rings on it, like tree rings. I didn't get that set, but it has like some rings, like tree rings that you can cut out of this paper. So this is your gingham pattern in the back, which is pretty cool. So this is your poppy parade and your mint cron. Okay, and so that's what this is. And on this side, I really like, I'm not even that into flowers, but this side is way nicer to me. That's a really, really nice, pretty fall sort of, fall floral pattern. I really, really like that. So you're going to get for free, when you spend $50, double-sided paper. You're going to get 12 by 12 sheets of double-sided paper. So there's your, there's your colors there. I can see the evening evergreen. I can see the crushed curry, the poppy parade, and I can see the soft suede, the soft suede in there. So really, really cool. This is a super, super cool piece of paper. And as is this piece here, but I mean, let's face it, this piece is just awesome. So I think I'm going to include this in my course that I'm developing on um, fall projects because I, I like this fall paper. Oh, look at this. Now we have a winter piece here. Look at these winter little birds. Are these robins? You guys are bird people. I say you guys because I'm always getting my birds wrong. Yeah, right. So Jody is saying she wasn't, I, Jody's saying I wasn't sure about this paper, but it is so gorgeous, right? It is, right? This is actually Wait do you see the little houses coming up. Oh my goodness, they're off the hook. The houses are awesome. 
But the birds, I guess, are they robins? They're some kind of little winter birds. Okay, okay, Virginia from California. Hello, hello. Loving the hippos. And look at the other side of this. So you could just do all kinds of winter. So we can include this in our winter, in our, what is it called, Christmas in December. This reminds me a lot of my baby wipe technique, this whole paper here. You can use this in, your, in my Christmas cards. Okay, now look at this piece here. I think this is going to be my favorite piece. Oh, wait, I, I'm speaking too soon because there's mushrooms. They're going to go great with the gnomes back there. But look at this paper. Look at these little houses. Oh, my goodness. This is so great. you got your little neighborhood. So if you cut these right, you don't have to repeat the houses. Like So I would say this would look like a nice little neighborhood. This would be great. Welcome to the neighborhood. You know, if you have to welcome some neighbors and stuff. Um, Maybe, maybe a real estate agent, like, uh, like my sister-in-law, you know, like, hey, congratulations on closing on your house. But I mean, even so, just to have a little village with little, um, little, from our home to yours, maybe, like one of those stamps that say from our home to yours. This is nice winter, winter project. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my goodness. Why is that on the back of the houses? So sometimes I'm like, what in the world? All right, so I wouldn't put this on. I love both of these papers, but I would not have put that on the back of this. Especially for those of us to make little paper purses. Um, usually small patterns or, or like something plain goes on the back. Now, the reason I say I wouldn't put this on the back of that doesn't have anything to do with the colors not coordinating because they coordinate perfect. But it has to do with usually when you have a small pattern, you would have like a sort of a solid pattern on the other side of it. And these kind of don't go together. It's like one's huge and one's really small. But that's going to be incredible. Um, I'm going to see if I can't cut that out. That That's going to be incredible. I'm always wanting to cut everything out with my scan and cut, like every time I get new paper. So home run on the houses. Let's see what's on the other side of these mushrooms. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> There's your tree rings. Okay, that's the one. The tree rings. Let's put these both up here. These ones are going to have a die that goes with them. I know that. I'm not sure what else comes in the... That tree sweet or, or bundle or whatever that's called. But I do know that they're, when they were showing the picture of it in the catalog, they put, they have like a little, they had like a little die cut for this. And I'm wondering if it's not even in the brochure for this. It could be in here. Let's see. No, I believe it was in the, the mini catalog. So yes, very, very cool. I'm going to just already start thinking of masculine cards for that. But these little mushrooms, now, can you guys know about the little gnomes? There's a gnome called Storybook Gnomes. Now, Storybook Gnomes has a different color scheme. But the stamp, you can color the gnomes whatever you want. And I think they would go good with these mushrooms, this background. All right, last one is, I uh, guess we have these, what are these poinsettias, maybe? Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. I'm, where am I? I'm running off to... I'm dropping the YouTube. No, I'm just kidding. And running off to order. I'm just kidding. I'm not really dropping YouTube and running off to order, but I'm definitely getting more of this paper. I did not think I would like this paper so much. And now I have to rethink the coordinating products that go with it because this paper is super cool. All right. We'll do this paper last because that's a hundred dollar item. So to recap, oh my goodness. So far you have seen what you can get for $50. This is free. When you spend $50, you get this paper for free. And that means that it's all included in your shipping. You can get this little, these little cards and envelopes for free, 20 of them, that's free. You can get the hippo, happiest hippo, hippest, I call it happiest hippos. It's called hippest hippos for free. And you can get these dies for free. So let's finish the $50 items before I get into the, I have two more $50 items, just so we're on the same page. That was four of them. I have these two that are $50 items. Then, I'll do the $100 item, and then I have a special surprise because we're doing good on time. All right, so let's do, we just did a paper, so we'll do this one later. We'll do this one next. Amazing phrases, and then we'll do the paper. So amazing phrases, I just recently did a little video. Let me see if I can't grab it, my table over here. I did a little video on, there goes my microphone. Um, this one, Rays of Light, which is in the annual catalog. I did this on YouTube, but then I was also just recently showing it on Facebook because I finished all these cards. So when you make these card backgrounds, if you want to stamp right onto a card background like this, the rays of light, you would want to get stamps that are really big 
and bold, right? And you can stamp right onto. So I think these, woohoo, amazing, and all that is going to be really nice for the rays of light. That's my opinion, and I'm going to try it. You know, so you have a woohoo, put that over your um, the sunshine. Hey, amazing, right? Here, let's see what else we have. To another year around the sun. Oh, look at that. That's right. I already I had already determined this before. I I had already determined this would work, and I forgot about that. Look at this. Another year around the sun. Okay, so there you go. I'm gonna right after this. I'm gonna make some cards that say. Okay, woohoo! To another year around the sun, right? So isn't that gonna be cool? And then, let's see what else we could say. You are, I'm trying to see if you could do it here. You are amazing would go good with the sun. So put you are amazing. I like that. I'm so sorry I'm the worst. That's so funny. And then uh, woohoo to you too. I like how that rhymes. So I really like how these go together. Let's see what kind of stamp it is. Oh, wow. Photopolymer. That's good. That means we can see through it and know where we're putting it. Look how big these are. So let's see if these are as big as they are on the outside. They're bigger. Hey. Bonus, look at this. Who knew, guys? What that means is the size here is already an awesome size, but they're even bigger. See, they're bigger than shown on the front of the stamp set because look at how much coverage they get. So this is actual size. So you're gonna, the new way we store stamps now is, sta is putting them right into the stamp case. All right, now we're ready to move on. So now we've seen five items you can get for free. Let's, let's do six items you can get for free. This is another one when you spend $50. Silver and gold specialty paper. Silver and gold specialty paper. Can the catalog be seen yet? No, Kathy, only the outside. So unless you get it in the mail. So you probably have it in the mail for me, but that's what I wanted to know. Does anyone have it in, anyone here get this in the mail yet? If this came, I ordered it for you. The last day of the month, uh, what was that? We're in June now, in May 31st or whatever. I ordered these for my customer. Like you, we have to like order them, pay for them, get them shipped to you. But they come shipping from uh, Stampin' Up. So this, you can look at it all you want, but I just can't open it on, on screen here. I can only like show you this. You're going to get a brochure and a catalog in the mail. And, but I do have some here. I have a case, well, more than a case of catalogs here. So I do, I'm accepting requests for catalogs right now. And I don't do that all the time anymore. I used to, but all I did was spend all my time and money shipping catalogs, and people just are catalog collectors sometimes. And they order them from more than one person. Okay, this is neat. So there's one, two, three. Oh, is it double single sided? Okay. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's it's a foil paper. So it's called silver and gold specialty paper. So this is another fifty dollar item. It's the it's the consistency of or the thickness of designer series paper okay so you get six of those and then you're going to get six of the dots let's see the gold dots so we have gold stripes i'm just figuring out what this is myself for the first time so it's six by six so you get gold stripes gold dots okay and then i'm guessing silver stripes and silver dots so and then you could just use your blending brush and color this is these look like thinner to me than the gold ones. No, they're, they're the same. They just kind of look thinner. The silver ones look thinner. Well, they're good. It gives us some versatility. All right, so you're going to get 24 sheets of specialty paper. And this is this is a good thing to take. I don't have my ink right here, but this is just a blending brush. You, you, you use a blending brush and color this whatever you, what color you want. So I will put this in my specialty sampler, I think, maybe. I'm going to do a designer series paper share in July, and I'm thinking I'll include that maybe with my specialty add-on or something. I might add some specialty papers. I usually have like a specialty add-on. I don't know. We'll figure, I'll figure out how I'm going to do the share. Haven't, I haven't worked out the details yet. All right, that was it for the $50 item. So which $50 item is your favorite? We have silver gold specialty paper. We have amazing phrases. We have hippest hippos. We have hippo dyes. I have to figure out what this paper was called. We have this paper. 
I don't know. I'm torn between the hippo dies and this paper. Rings of love. Rings of love. And then we have cards and envelopes. These are called cards and envelopes. Just say cards if that's your favorite. It, these are called pool party and soft succulent cards and envelopes. So all these things are all the things you can earn for $50. And there were a few more. I just didn't get them. There were, there were, there were things like um, amazing phrases is your favorite. So Kathy's saying amazing phrases. Okay, Sandy is probably going to vote. All right, this now I'm going to change to, you get this one for free when you spend $100. And you get both of these. Now, the only, what happened before with the hello, beautiful, I guess it was a uh, hello something. There was something, friendly hello, I think it was called. And there was paper that went with it. You can only get, I think it was that one. Maybe it was something else. There was another one last year where you can only get the paper with the stamp set. I remember that in celebration. So this is called... Wonderful world. Now, I didn't actually, here, wonderful world. It's cool. I like these flowers, but I really got this for the paper because I love all the papers. So the only way to get this paper was for me to spend $100. And you can't just get refills of the paper. And I wish they would just do it so you could just spend 50 and get refills of this paper. But you can't. You have to get them together. They coordinate together. So let's look at the wonderful, the, one, the paper's also called wonderful world. And let's see what the coordinating colors are for the wonderful world. Oh, wow, lots of coordinating colors. I'll, I'll put this closer so you can see it while I'm talking about coordinating colors. Um, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Orchid Oasis, Pear Pizzazz, Rich Razzleberry, Sahara Sand, and Starry Sky. So this is just gorgeous paper. Well, especially that side, right? That side is gorgeous. I thought they were little bird's nests for, at first when I looked through my camera, but they are beautiful flowers. With beautiful other side. Oh, look at this. Wow, super, super gorgeous papers. So I see myself cutting these out. I see the scan and cut cutting these out in my future. Look how beautiful these would be. Each one would make a gorgeous embellishment. Gigantic embellishments. Let's see what this is. Beautiful little sprigs. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. And the other side's like, eh, right? But this side is so pretty. My mom would really like this paper. She loves pink. Wow. Really, really enjoying this paper. This is, this is nice. Okay. And then this one is little tiny flowers. I like little tiny flowers for making like like we just made sticky note holders. These would be cute. Oh my gosh, I love this side. Look how pretty this is. Look how pretty this tiny little flowers are. We just made sticky note holders and they'd be, this is perfect for those because of the tiny patterns. And then these I could see me cutting out. I don't think there's any dies to go with this. I believe this is just an independent thing that was in the catalog. All right, so I told you I asked surprise for you. So that was it. That was all the products you can get. I mean, except there are more, but I just don't have them. There's one that you're able to get, which I, I didn't want to buy. I'm waiting to earn it for free. It's something about pomegranate or something. But um, I, I'm waiting to earn it for free at when, at my first order in July, which I'll be placing July 1st. So because of that, I'm going to, because I'm going to have a sign up. All right, here's, here's what, here's my special, my special surprise. I wanted to make sure I had enough time because I never want my videos to go too long. So let me just see what you voted on first, and then we're going to tell you about what the special surprise is. Yeah, so Yvonne loves variety paper packs are her favorite, and, of course, the hippos are her favorite. Kathy says phrases. And Diana just likes everything. It's cute. All right, in the back of this catalog, every time we have celebration, every single time you look on the last page, so when you get your catalog, look on the last page. I can't open it right now. But look inside, and it's going to talk about a joining special, the way that you, so when you join. So when you join in July and August, you're going to get this whole entire collection for free. Making plan stamp set. It's a planner collection. Whatever this is, I guess these are the refill pages. No, maybe these are the refill pages. We're going to open this together, and then I'll set it up and do a separate video, I guess, on it, because I don't know how this is all goes together. 
and, and a planner itself. So let's open this all up together. And me not being a planner person, it's gonna take me a little while to set up. So when, when July rolls around, I'll be able to show you this whole entire collection that you get for free. We were able to get it as demonstrators. Now later, it's not even in our catalog. So customers can't even get it any other way, I believe. I mean, as far as I know, customers and team members can't get it any other way unless we get it this month. And then, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong because there's a lot of Stampin' Up! demonstrators on here. I think the only way we were to get it is to get it this month in our pre-order. And then the way that customers can get it is when they join Stampin' Up! They're going to get this planner. So it's going to have all the coordinating colors on it. And let's see what dates it goes to and stuff like that. So here's the planner itself. It's called the Making Plans Planner. <laughs> she said this is what she's been waiting to see. Diana's been waiting to see. Maybe I need to put my uh, tripod up higher, but I don't know. I don't think my tripod can go up any higher. Let's see what hubby did. Hubby set this up for me. Oh, it can go up. Just a little bit. I can't go up any higher, though. I can turn the light a little bit. See if I can get that all to fit in there. And good enough. So we're going to open this up. And we have a little silica pack here. A little place for your little business cards and stuff in a nice pocket. Some foam protection and this little divider thingy. All right. I'm not going to try to attempt to put the pages in because... I'll mess that up, but I can show you all the pages. And then later I'll try to organize it into the planner, and then you'll be able to see. Okay, so making plans. We've got the stamp set. And it's photopolymer. So we're going to do a stamp onto your pages, which is nice. So this is going to be, so in addition to getting your $125 worth of items, so when you, when you sign up and join Stampin' Up!, you get, when you join our team, my team, you get... $125 worth of items, and you only pay $99, and you get free shipping. And you pick out whatever you want for $125. So you pay the $99. But this time when you pay the $99, in July 1st to August 31st, this time, during this time period, if you pay the $99, you still get to pick out $125 or whatever you want. Not these items, just things from our catalogs. Any items you want. And you're going to get this whole Making Plants collection, all that I'm showing you for free. So everything I'm showing you here is going to be, it's part of the starter kit special. Ooh la la. Look at this. It's a cool little book. I'm liking the book. So I'm wondering, okay, wait, it's three books. That's pretty cool. Oh, these are for um, card sketches. You know, when you, the little dots for the card sketches when you draw your little lines. Oh, and this will be fun to decorate the front of it too. Oh, you know what? I should have read the I should have read what it says. It says Making Plans Notebook Trio. Duh. Right? <laughs> I mean if I would have, if I'd have read that, I would have known that these were notebooks. I'm like, wow, I'm expecting like planners and it's a notebook. I really love how this notebook coordinates with the front of the planner. That's just pretty cool, right? How they coordinate together. All right, moving along, let's open the pages. Because the pages, I guess, are what the whole planner thinks about. Okay, so demonstrators, thank you. Okay, so let's see who said this. All right, so Jody. Okay, thank you, Jody. She said demonstrators can only purchase the planner this month, and we're only allowed to get one of them. So these are going to be like a rare commodity, these planner kits, because the only way to get it is we're able to pre-order it, and then after that, then it's not in the catalog or whatever, and then only the new demonstrators are going to have this access to this really cool planner. All right, we have... This one's called, this is all the collection, these four things. The planner, the stamp set, the notebooks, and the making plans inside pages, it's called. So it's, we have monthly focus, important days. Okay, and then it starts in July. So it starts now. Oh, that's good because you could sign up July 1st and look what you get. You get your first, uh, let's see. You, the month would start in the month of July. So this is not, this is not a week. It's not a week, July 7th. It would be like the month. The 7th, meaning the 7th month. So it starts in July. Monthly focus, weekly priorities. This is good for planning if you want to plan events. Now, of course, you don't have to plan events. You can be a demonstrator as a hobby demonstrator and just join for the discount, or you can plan events. And if you want to plan events or just plan out your life in general, this planner is going to help. I, I guess I don't have to go through every month. Let's just jump to the end and see how many months. 
see when it goes to. How about that? September. Okay, it goes to October 2023. We're up to 2023. November. So we're at 2022 July, and it goes to the end of 2023. All right, so we have a year and a half. Well, a year and July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, 18 months. You got a year and a half. Look at that. You got a two-year calendar. So you have from now until the next whole year. Oh, wow, look at all this. Creating purpose. Looking ahead. Oh! You know, I'm not a, I actually do everything online, like my Google Calendar and all my groups kind of keep me straight, but this would be I'm I'm not I'm not saying I would never use this. This I'm just usually not a planner person, but look how many these are all just the same, by the way, weekly priorities. I guess these are for you to insert in between the months. Like again, I'm just guessing. You can decorate. I don't know when I'm going to get to the end of weekly priorities, but there's a, a, heck of, a heck of a lot of weekly priorities. Let's see what, oh, that goes on and on forever. Probably an inch high of that. Oh, wait, this is, looks different, though. These weekly priorities look different than this one. This one says accomplishments and challenge. Okay, I think, oh, that's because I'm done the weekly priorities. And then we have, after the weekly priorities are over, you have something. Oh, boy, okay, here. Then you have monthly reviews. Okay, lots of monthly reviews, probably one for each month. And then accomplishments, challenges. And you could put your personal challenges or maybe, maybe challenges you participated in. You know, for prizes, if, if those are those different kinds of challenges, if you didn't have any other challenges. Okay, if we're getting to something different here. I know the pages are the same, but I, don't, I haven't looked at this yet, so I don't know. Okay, we have blank pages with cute little pretty borders. Huh, <gasps> very pretty with the little flowers on them. Okay, looks like these are all the same. Blank pages. Let's move this. Okay, flipping that over. I'm getting through it quicker now because now we're left with, ooh, Ooh la la, some pretty dividers. You're going to like the dividers if you're into planners. So this looks like um, maybe a ledger for your expenses and things. Mine will just be like entire budget went for Stampin' Up! Supplies. Again, Stampin' Up! Supplies. That's what I'm getting. Oh, and here looks a little, little grid paper. I mean, I don't need a book to tell me how much I spent on my Stampin' Up! Supplies because what I do is I put it, I try to put it on the same card and then I end up like kind of keeping track of my expenses that way a little better. Look at this. These are pretty pages. All right, now we're getting into so that was all regular paper. So up until now, let me just let me show you how thick this is so you have an idea how heavy duty this is. So here, I'm putting this so like it's it's a couple inch it's like really thick. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to say over an inch. Maybe less than 2. So that's a big that's regular paper. Now I'm going to show you these little I guess we be dividers. And then I'm going to try to put them into the planner, see how many will fit. I'll probably put like a few months into the divider and to just see, I'll set up the planner a little bit so that it kind of makes sense. Okay, let's see. Three. Okay, why are there two of each, each month? Maybe because of this year and next year. Maybe that's why. So there's two of each month. So like six will be June here, 7th, July. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, that's interesting. Not sure why there's two of. Okay, so we have two of each number, but then there's like one of the higher numbers, and yet the, the whole thing starts in July, and then it goes all next year. So to me, it would be like, wouldn't we need two sets of these? July through 12? No, because you know why? We would get rid of those by next year. That's why. We'd probably get rid of those. But then I'm not sure why there's another one, two, three. An extra, I mean, an extra set of ones. But it's okay because you wouldn't put like a whole year's worth of calendar pages in your journal at the same time. Now let's get into this part. This is going to be fun. Anytime there's stickers. Not sure if they stick or if they're just like little punch outs. No, they look like stickers to me. Yeah, these are sticker sheets. So everybody loves that part of the planner, the aspect of the planner, right? So let's take a closer look at these before we wrap things up. So we have little, let me turn my light here this way. I know we get this little ring. The little ring shows up. 
Uh, we have little flowers. These remind me of the Stampin' Up! envelope stickers that I share with my team. And then we got little, little flags and dots. Oh, look, special occasions to remember. Like, okay, you're traveling, birthday. So super fun planner stickers. So one sheet, two sheets of that same one. And then this one is going to have, okay, get it done, do good, take a break. Oh, incentive trip. This could be on your goal list, earn the incentive trip. And then maybe the day you earn it, you put that sticker on the, on the page the day you earn it. But first coffee, I have a mug that says that, and I'm going to use that sticker. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm, if I use this sticker, then I would use that sticker. Event, order, on stage, team meeting. Okay, yeah, we have monthly team meetings in uh, the different groups I'm in. And then we have like a recruiting special. So I would probably like say, hey, like there's a special going on. Make sure I tell my customers about it. And then maybe, maybe sure I place an order because there's a BOGO sale. Like right now, there's a kit sale. So before the end of the month, I want to get some more kits. And you could say when your classes are and your sales. That's pretty cool. Task, anniversary. Celebrate your anniversary. I like it. Two sheets of that. So I'm very happy with this planner kit. Making plans. Planner kit. And all the extra pages. And the, you could decorate all these things. So that is our incentive for joining. I think that's going to be, because of the exclusivity of this, it's going to be really popular. Uh, I think I really like the ink special we had, you know, for joining last month. But this one's going to be, if someone likes planners, they're really going to like this, this special next month. But the benefit of joining this month, there are many as well. And one of the many benefits of joining this month is that, let me find that catalog again, is that you can order anything you want out of here as part of your starter kit. So if you join this month, you can order from the annual catalog, which is this one, right? And then you can order from this catalog, you can pre-order, and you can put things from the catalog that's about to retire called the, the December or January to June mini catalog. So you can order, if you join this month, my team, you don't get the planner. Well, you can order the planner yourself. You're allowed to order it as part of your exclusive. But what I'm saying is you'll get the planner, but you get to order from three different catalogs. And then you can start to pre-earn for celebration right after that. Uh, pre-earn meaning when we spend money, we get to earn these free items. I hope you enjoyed this overview of the free items that you can get during celebration. Let's just end with putting a little hippo there. I hope you will shop with me and earn some free items starting in July. That's all for now. This is the Paper Chef. I appreciate you watching today. And thank you for all of your interaction, interactivity and all your comments. Bye.